What's up, y'all? Thanks for coming back to the Gen X Gardener, the generation that was non-binary before it even knew it was non-binary. You want your tomatoes to die at the first frost or do you want to enjoy them for a few more weeks? If your answer was the second one, come on back. I'm going to show you what I do to make sure that I have tomatoes into October. See you in a second. I'll say a quick sorry for being uh, kind of AWOL for the past couple of weeks. We've had a couple of different things happening in the family, so uh, that took up a little bit of concentration. Um, and it's really bad too, because we've got a bunch of rain, so I know I've probably got a bunch of split tomatoes. It's gonna get chilly tonight. So I need some tarps to put over the plants. I've said before that, uh, that I have my tomatoes until uh, well into October. Uh, one of the reasons I'm able to do that is because I'm looking at the weather and I see that there's a frost warning for the evening. I'll get out there, I'll put tarps over my tomato plants. Uh, that protects them, that gives them that extra longevity because if the tarp, if, sorry, the tarp fucking hits. If the frost hits the, uh, the plants, you're pretty much done for the rest of the season. I get out and uh, tarp them up for the night. A uh, little bit more labor intensive, obviously, but it means that, like I say, that's another uh, month or so that I don't have to pay for tomatoes. My tomatoes right now are banging. The color is insane. And so we want to protect that. We want to get a little bit more time out of uh, out of our garden. The color just disappeared from the sky. That means that we're running out of daylight really quickly. <laughs> yeah, so maybe not the most optimal lighting, but uh, you got to do what you got to do, right? Let's figure some shit out. <laughs> so... We'll, we'll have to wait and see if if this worked or not. My only issue is that tonight it's supposed to be pretty darn windy as well as being um, a frost warning. Anyways, this is what they look like. So I've just got the tarp, tiny bungee cords just tied around. It's not ideal. I would have liked those a little bit on a string. Uh, if there is frost, then what's gonna happen is, you know, it could certainly wreck up this stuff. I have, been able to create this tunnel so everything inside of here will be safe right so if there is frost tonight these what 15 plants will be uh will be saved and we'll still have like all these nice little um tomatoes like i, I kind of harvested a bunch but um there's still tons on here lots of little guys all this stuff will be saved from the frost um and then hopefully because we are going to have some daytime temperatures and whatnot hopefully these guys here um, will either ripen up or we uh, we end up doing something with uh, with green tomatoes and we have some good recipes for that. You have to kind of be a little bit selective. These tomato plants right here, if there is frost tonight, they're fucked. Um, I've protected as much as I can, right? Same thing over here, I've got these two beds. This one here, I've got nicely tarped up. Same thing, I come under here, all of this stuff uh, is uh, is protected. Right, a lot of green, but a lot of red as well. Over here, I didn't have enough tarping, so this stuff is going to be uh, at risk. The tomatoes themselves should be fine, to be honest, because the, the, its own leaves will probably protect it from any uh, potential frost, to be honest. So that's that. Obviously, uh, I'd say I'm gonna call it a day, but it's, 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 the day's been called on me. I was very naive. What I'm gonna say is sometimes this is what you do with your garden, right? If you if you want to just grow some stuff, uh, throw it in the ground in June and then let it die out when it dies out naturally, that's one thing. But if you want to take a little bit more initiative, you can prolong a lot of your uh, your plant's lives. Get some more fruit, get some more growth. Once more, thanks for watching. Again, apologies for not having uh, a lot of things up. I will try to uh, get a few more things in the go. It is going to be another little bit of a rocky week or so before I get uh, smoothed into the new schedule. So again, just a forewarning on that. Otherwise, if you're not dirty, you're not doing it right. Get out in the garden. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's the next morning. It's like about nine in the morning. I'm a little bit uh, late to start the day because uh, to be perfectly frank, I had to lie on the ground for a fucking hour and a half because when you do fucking things that you're not used to, you get back spasms. So. Fuck this. Anyways, the uh, the good news is, um, 
the wind wasn't bad. Both tarps are perfectly exactly where they should be. We clearly did not get any frost. Uh, we even have some really nice little flowers. I don't know, they should pop up if we get some nice warm weather. Um, but, uh, but they're not damaged. That means it was uh, one of those fucking happy times for a gardener. Um, slight damage probably from me because I couldn't see what I was doing last night. So it does look like I kind of, see here's that. I had not uh, staked that up properly, so I'll have to take care of that today. But other than that, we're gonna get these tarps off so the, uh, the sun can get out. It's a pretty fucking cloudy day, but uh, no matter what, we'll do that. All right, guys, that's the B-roll. Later, skater. <laughs>